Hello everybody, this is uh, General Yanis, and today in Deathcard Tactics we are looking at the heavy intercessors and the ongoing uh, troops arms race, uh, it feels like, um, of, the, of the more, let's say, costly and more elite type of troops. So uh, the heavy intercessors with a toughness five and three wounds per model are uh, interesting <laughs> new uh, addition to the to let's say this ongoing arms race. So let's uh, take a look. So today, the twenty fifth of March, twenty twenty one. It's a big day today uh, for me at least, um, and and for for Greek people in general. It's the bicentennial of the Greek independence. Uh, so. Um, the Greek War of Independence started 200 years ago, 25th of March, 1821, and it's celebrated every year. Uh, it's the National Day of Greece, and it's celebrated every year with a big um, big parade, military parade in Athens. And this year it was a bit more special, and um, here you can see some uh, presidential guard <laughs> with, of, of, of Greek forces here with... Um, they they have the COVID uh, COVID masks and um, this is the the type of uh, uniform or this type of traditional dress that was used uh, back in the days uh, for the freedom fighters let's say and uh, down here I will I think I spotted a rhino watching uh, the the parade but uh, basically yeah the 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 design good designs don't change over forty thousand years but let's. Uh, yeah, focusing on, on Warhammer, let's look at the increasing arms race, let's say, of the troops and looking at the, the, the heavy intercessors for the Space Marines, looking at their base stats and weapon options, and then I will be comparing the damage um, output uh, to other troops and our Plague Marines, to other, let's say, similar type of troops across the, co the, the factions that have received their codexes. And then um, um, even more importantly, the durability comparison compared to other troops and our Plague Marines. So let's uh, take a look. So uh, starting with the base stats and the weapons. Uh, so here are the, the heavy intercessors and the, the intercessor sergeant. The base uh, cost is 28 points. And uh, a group can be between 5 and 10 heavy intercessors and when we look at the base stats they look very eerily similar to death card so a movement of uh, five inches three plus and um, uh, weapon skill and ballistic skill strength four toughness five importantly and here is the important parameter for the heavy intercessors three wounds which makes them uh, very difficult to take out with uh, single shots let's say two attacks the the champion the sergeant has three uh, leadership eight and seven and three plus uh, armor save so they it's a gravis armor unit and very death guard like uh, set of base stats as i said and uh, being space marines they are of course core and primaries and they have the angels of death the rules and the combat squad so it could be also a group of 10 being split for example to two groups of five during deployment if we're looking at the the, the weapon options Every um, they have grenades, and then every heavy intercessor they have a bolt pistol sidearm as a standard, and then they have the heavy bolt rifle. And the heavy bolt rifle um, is a rapid fire one weapon. Basically, it will always be firing two shots with the bolter discipline. Uh, long range, 36 inches, strength five. Importantly, AP minus one and damage one. Uh, and then um, basically all all the guys in the squad. And instead of the heavy bolt rifle, uh, change to either, for example, executor bolt rifles or hellstorm bolt rifles. So if we look at the executor bolt rifles, uh, it's a heavy one, more heavy weapon, let's say. Uh, uh, increased range, 42 inch, strength 5, AP minus 2 and damage 2. And then the hellstorm bolt rifle is an assault 3 type weapon with um, range 30 inches, strength 5, AP 0, damage 1. Uh, of course, uh, Space Marines also benefit from Doctrine, so uh, the AP will be increased for the heavy weapon in the, in the Devastator Doctrine in turn 1, and the Rapid Fire and Assault weapons would be benefiting in the Tactical Doctrine, which is typically turn 2 and 3, and there are, of course, a lot of shenanigans for Space Marine players to uh, adjust uh, Doctrines. And then... Uh, based on this is let's say the base configuration there are three options for the base configuration and then basically uh, you can select one out of five uh, models 
can replace, for example, a heavy bolt rifle with a heavy bolter or an executor bolt rifle with an executor heavy bolter or a Hellstorm bolt rifle with a Hellstorm heavy bolter. So then these weapons are doing more damage uh, and, um, and they are uh, heavy, heavy weapons, uh, all of them. So the heavy bolter is a heavy three weapon. The executor heavy bolter is a heavy two uh, with three damage. So this can be a quite heavy weapon here. And the Hellstorm heavy bolter becomes a heavy four damage two weapon with, with no AP. So uh, the heavy intercessors, they have the heavy shooting bolter weapons with strength five three various options for the squad, and one in five can then have an extra heavy bolter of that kind. They don't have any specific melee weapon, and that they have a basic pistol, nothing, nothing special here, to add uh, some shooting and engagement range. And as I said, the heavy weapons would, uh, would get additional AP in the Devastator Doctrine, and the rapid fire and assault weapons would be getting extra AP in the Tactical Doctrine, turn two and three. So uh, let's uh, compare the damage output of the basic weapons, let's say. So I'm assuming here a heavy intercessor five-man squad uh, and comparing their, their shooting at, at let's say, 24-inch range. And I, I assume here no penalties to hit with, to, to shoot heavy weapons. Uh, and I'm assuming that they are in the doctrine which favors that weapon. Uh, so here we see a bunch of targets. And here we see the average damage uh, expected compared uh, corrected 200 points and the blue line is the heavy intercessors with the heavy bolt rifles the orange line is the executor bolt rifles and the gray line is the hellstorm bolt rifles so we see in general the hellstorm bolt rifles because they are shooting three shots and uh, each and here we have let's say two shots each and here we have only one one shot with the heavy with the heavy uh, bolt rifle and um, they um, the executor uh, it's yeah, the Hellstorm bolt rifle seems to be the, the better option overall, especially here for targets that have invul saves, and then it doesn't matter so much that they don't have so high AP, but it's it's more an amount of of oversaturating with shots. And here, as I said, it benefits from the AP one in the tactical doctrine. And uh, here is looking at if we have this um, five-man squad. Um, you, for example, with the Hellstorm bolt rifles, uh, does it does it pay off to replace one uh, one weapon with a with a heavy uh, with a heavy Hellstorm bolt rifle? And this is the green line, and we can see that uh, that it it let's say it's worth it seems to be worth its ten point cost to add this uh, heavier weapon for one of the of the guys in the squad. So here uh, in this table, I'm comparing the, the damage output to other, uh, let's say, expensive or let's say elite troops. And here I'm not uh, including um, troops like uh, pox workers or cultists or, yeah, the, the, the more chaff related troops uh, from the new codexes that are out. And this is the average damage per 100 points across all the targets uh, that I had in my, in my previous uh, graphs. So here we can see the heavy intercessors with heavy bolt rifles will be doing on average 1.7 wounds per 100 points in long range. And the short range is basically the same because they will always be rapid firing. And in melee, uh, the heavy intercessors don't, don't have a, a very high, they don't have any specific um, heavy uh, melee weapon. Uh, here we see the heavy intercessors with the Hellstorm bolt rifles. As I, as I said, this was seemed to be a better, the best uh, damaging weapon option for the heavy intercessors across all the targets uh, here. And then if we look at other Space Marine troops, uh, for example, the intercessors and the assault intercessors, uh, they have, they have yeah, quite similar damage, uh, let's say, uh, per point. Um, uh, compared to the heavy intercessors, the assault intercessors, they don't have so uh, high uh, damage output at long range. They only have pistols, but in melee, they have extra attacks and they have a better better weapon. So here they are, uh, let's say, for melee, the assault intercessors do better damage. And down here, we have the Death Guard Plague Marines with the standard uh, bolters and knife configuration. Basically, each marine uh, Plague Marine is costing 21 points. So here we can see compared to the Space Marine troops, uh, our, our uh, Plague Marines are better in melee, except for the Assault Intercessors per point uh, at the base configuration, and, but, but they are uh, behind in, in the shooting um, 
in long range and, and short range with a standard uh, configuration here. Uh, if we, but but the Plague Marines, they can be uh, very much configurable. A lot of we can take a lot of special weapons, etc. So, for example, if we do Plague Marines, a full melee squad, a ten-man squad, uh, basically the, that's every Plague Marine in that squad will be, let's say, an average twenty-eight points. Then we can see we can we can really get very high melee damage and sacrificing basically the the the, the shooting damage. If we take, let's say, the maximum, uh, let's say, maximum number of, of light launchers and plasmas for a big group, then we would be basically because we are paying extra for these weapons, we will be paying 26 points on average for a for a plague marine. Here we can boost the long range and the and the short range damage compared to the to the um, yeah compared to the standard and and come close to the to the intercessors in damage output. Uh, but then the melee uh, is going down. And here also I've added the Necron Immortals with the Gauss uh, Gauss weapons. They are 17 points, not quite as, as costly as some of the other troops. Uh, they have some good short range uh, because they here they will be in rapid fire range and in melee they are not so strong, uh, let's say. So uh, summarizing the heavy intercessors can do some decent damage per point in ranged and they are not, their, their strong point is not the melee uh, damage. And the, and the Plague Marines um, have a higher degree of customization than, than, than other troops normally. Of course, here we also have some customiz customization possible. I haven't looked into detail, but here also the sergeant can take special weapons, etc. But this shows you a bit the, the overall comparison between the, the troops for various uh, factions. And then uh, moving over and looking at the durability of the troops. Uh, and here I'm looking at how many shots uh, does it take uh, to kill uh, a certain unit corrected to 100 points. So basically it's how many shots would it take to kill 100 points of heavy intercessors or 100 points of, of, of normal intercessors or 100 points of plague marines. And, um, and what we can see here uh, is that the, the heavy intercessors are very durable for the points. They have a toughness five, like like the plague marines and the immortals, but they have also the three wounds, uh, so they, it makes them very tough to take out. Uh, so even even if they have a higher point cost, the three wounds make them make and the toughness five makes them quite durable. So for example, especially here we can see for for um, strength four type of weapon shooting at them. Uh, they would they would be taking a, a high number of of shots to to get killed, um, and uh, and we can see here that basically for the for the normal weaponry that you would expect uh, maybe that it would be hitting the um, that that would be hitting your troops, uh, they they are basically more durable than than the plague marines uh, our plague marines that have toughness 5 and disgusting resilience but they only have uh, two wounds let's say uh, so the um, so uh, damage two weapons that are quite good taking out intercessors and other other let's say two wound models are not so good against three wound models of course you would be at least needing two two hits to take out uh, a heavy heavy intercessor um, uh, basically, only against the heavy bolt or damage two weapon is that are the plague marines more durable uh, from this light fire compared to the heavy intercessors, um, and uh, and and basically uh, he down here with very high and high damaging anti vehicle type of weapons, of course, melta guns and meltas and entropy cannons, last cannons, etc. The the heavy intercessors are also quite um, yeah, they they are, of course, uh, uh, not so durable against those kind of weapons. But again, it would require that the opponent uses these weapons to fire uh, at the troops of the heavy intercessors instead of other more high value or high dangerous, more dangerous threats like vehicles and eradicators. So they are, they will be a, a tough troop and a lot of wounds to take out uh, with with normal fire and more durable than other troops of. Of, of of comparable cost, let's say. 
So, uh, summary, uh, some summary and some final thoughts. Uh, so the heavy intercessors represented very durable troop choice for the Space Marines that can do comparable shooting damage per point to other elite type, or let's say if I call them, uh, yeah, elite type troops, not chaff, chaff infantry or horde infantry, let's say. And currently, by my analysis, they are the most uh, durable troop choice from the, from the factions that have had their codexes, the new codexes coming out. Uh, so basically a Space Marine player, 440 points, uh, which the minimum five-man squad uh, cost, can put uh, a unit with 15 wounds, toughness five on the table, and uh, they are difficult to take out with a, th uh, with a three wound uh, each profile. Uh, and it would uh, require some heavier weaponry that probably is better used to, to target some other, other threats, let's say. Additionally, uh, being core and primaries, etc., it can further benefit from a lot of auras and abilities and chapter specific traits. And the durability that is already high from the beginning can also be increased, for example, with transhuman physiology, making them only being wounded at four pluses. Uh, a model could be resurrected by a chief ap apothecary. Uh, the, the, the Space Marines. Um, Apothecary can give them a six plus feel no pain or some psychic powers, etc. It can it can definitely uh, make them even more uh, durable. So it it looks like with the heavy intercessors, the the space marines have access to some some tools uh, that are um, uh, previously at least the death card had a, a, a higher durability for the troops, uh, let's say. But now the space marines are also moving into this category. Uh, so what do you think about the um, the heavy intercessors have you uh, are you a space marine player that that plays them or what do you think about uh, uh, the heavy intercessors compared to the other uh, space marine troop choices and for death card players uh, have you faced the heavy intercessors uh, i've only faced them um, faced them once in in uh, in tabletop simulator and there i had the problem that the opponent had a lot of eradicators with three wounds, aggressors with three wounds, and the heavy intercessors with three wounds. So it was a lot of three wound models to uh, to take care of, let's say, to try to um, to to win to win the game. So they they were the heavy intercessors were very difficult to remove uh, from the table, as yeah, ideally you would need uh, high strength uh, damage three weapons. So with these words, um, this concludes the video. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, if you like this video, please press like and subscribe to the channel where I will bring you more math uh, for Death Card and, 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 and maybe also other factions going forward. Uh, if you wish to uh, uh, sub uh, support the channel more, please visit my Patreon page, patreon.com General Yanis. And uh, with these words, uh, General Yanis is signing out. Stay safe out there and bye-bye.